Oh, I forgot. Think you're gonna get shotgun? <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my vlog. So today we will be rating my books. Family day. Yeezys. We're going to Winners. Going to Winners. I don't know what we're going to find, but we're just going to do a little bit of shopping because that's what we do best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hold on. But do you even know what it smells like? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells good. You think Nicki Minaj smells like that? Ooh. It's like real snail. My clothes look real good on you. T shirt with the rainbow. What do we think about these glasses? If I'm ever famous, I will look so pretty. Why why is it on my nose? Okay, stop. If I'm famous, I will look so white. <laughs> that was just really good. Company that's getting I want this. Should I decorate my room for Christmas? Yeah. Let me know down below. Look how crooked this is. What about this one? This one's cute too. It's like a cream. Oh, that's so soft. Last stop, we're going into Michael's because I'm feeling a little crafty. Okay. I have a Honestly, bunch of like photos and stuff that I want to go through and put them in like in a like kind so of a scrapbook slash like journal. And I feel like Michael's is the best place to like get those good quality like scrapbook type things. So that's the plan, and then we're going home. Make us feel fine. Body heat. They have these like, cutest, the cutest travel stickers ever. Where'd they go? These ones. They have all the different license plates, the places. And then they have like certain places. So this one's like for Hawaii, Florida, California, Miami. And like just like a little sticker pack. How freaking cute. Look at the one for Canada. I think that represents Canada pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, take in. Why are these fourteen dollars? Make the skin cry, baby, babe. It's a good night. Starbs, 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 and then home. Gotta get the daily caffeine. Pillows, hearts, our symphony. Holy crap, I'm right here. I literally never leave the house without at least one of these products. This is my absolute favorite one in the whole entire world. It's a Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and it's in the flavor Fruit Berry. It's literally my favorite. I've been using it for years. Highly, highly recommend. I also just restocked on the Brazilian Crush Spray in 71. I have tried a lot of different numbers and stuff, but I love this one. I don't know what it is. It smells so good. And honestly, it sounds weird, but mixing my two iconic scents together make me smell literally so good. I also realized that I never gave you guys a haul from when my mom's sister and I went out yesterday. I did end up picking up three things. This is kind of like for a side project that I'm hoping to start doing when I start to like travel a little bit more. This is just kind of like the beginning of it. So the first thing that I got was just this plain like notebook. It does have like the bullet journal like line paper, which I really, really, really like. It's the Artist Loft journal. I don't know why I got it in this color. I have this exact same one in pink, like a baby pink. But for this one, I want to create 
create like a travel journal so then like i can put all my photos it's kind of like scrapbooking but also junk journaling mixed together for traveling so wanted to get like a little notebook like this to kind of document like everything a little memory journal of all my travels because this is just the beginning and i'm so excited for all the travel that i'm going to do in the new year but to go along with that i also got this like double-sided tape roller it's the extreme adhesive <laughs> tombow i think is the brand this was so expensive but honestly it makes sticking photos and papers and stuff so much easier so i highly recommend if you're like in that like crafty scrapbooking era and stuff highly recommend this instead of using like glue and stuff makes your life so much easier then the last thing i ended up getting this sticker pack it's specifically stickers for europe it has 827 stickers in it this was 15 dollars. please explain to me why michael's is so expensive but it just has like a bunch of stickers inside of it and i thought it could be cute it has certain pages correlating with like paris amsterdam london like this is like the paris one just some cute little fun stickers you know my personal favorite were these little tiny tags that you can put so like if i did a page for paris then i could put like the little paris stamp on it i don't know i thought that it was really cute and i thought it was worth my money that's everything i got from michael's when i went out that's the things i've kind of been looking for to start that journal because during my trip my dad and i had two digital cameras like the old school ones where you take them to go get developed after but nowadays you just send them in the mail and then they'll come back to you all developed and stuff so we just got those in the mail they turned out so good honestly i highly recommend if you are ever going on a trip bring a disposable camera it sounds annoying that you have to like remember to take photos but now that we have it i'm so happy that we did that we ended up taking a few in like each spot that we went to or like if we went to a restaurant and we really liked it we made sure to take a picture with it it was just really really nice to look back and have those photos now because it just is more memories that will always stick with me forever stay tuned for everything like that let me know if you guys want more journaling stuff i've always been a very very crafty creative person and this is like the first thing i've tried to pick up in like forever love the creativity but right now i need to go get my nails done i'm actually gonna be late for my appointment my appointment's at 1 it's currently 12 30. i need my nails done literally i've had these on since my trip that is literally so disgusting i cannot believe i've let my nails get this bad i have like no nails these are disgusting these are unacceptable especially filming we are gonna go get my nails done i am trying a new spot because i've been bouncing around different nail salons because all my girls end up leaving or i have to go to toronto which i don't want to drive to toronto to get my nails done that's just unrealistic and a waste of my time we're trying a new spot so we'll see how it goes if i really really like it then hopefully i'll keep going back to them their instagram and stuff looked awesome we'll have to see and it's local which is the best part let's do a nail transition ready this is before literally so disgusting before and after oh my goodness you guys i'm in love with these i know i think i found my new nail salon they were so so nice it's literally right down the street from my house so it makes like traveling there so much easier and i just ended up getting black i missed my black nails so much i feel like these are really the only seasons that i can do dark colors because once spring hits i'm like pinks purples blues like i really really like having like pastel light colors during the warmer seasons so the colder seasons i allow myself to literally go full black so had to get black i didn't get the gems like i normally do i wanted it to just be kind of more simple plus i've been getting the gems so much hopefully next time maybe i'll branch out and get something completely different than this because i've been getting it so much i love them so much but it's currently 3 23 p.m but i honestly think for the rest of the day i'm just gonna read i am filming a reading vlog currently which should be coming out after this video i want to finish up this book for that reading vlog i'm loving it by the way it's the nanny by lana ferguson I've been hyping this up so much you guys and I finally started reading it I'm a little over halfway and I'm just so obsessed with it It's everything I wanted it to be and more so currently though. I'm on page 248 and it's so spicy and it's so like heartwarming almost because like it deals with the single dad and like his kid and she's a nanny and like oh it's giving everything i i don't know i don't know how to explain it without telling you guys too much but like trust me when i say it's giving me five star feels and i haven't had that feeling in a while and this one 
could be it unless it has like a really bad ending because like right now it's definitely like a five star but i think there's gonna be a blow up soon or like some chaos because everyone's happy in the book right now and we're only just over halfway so something has to happen they can't be happy and live their life perfectly for the rest of the book you know something has to happen so i'm nervous to see what that is because they're so happy right now and i'm so happy right now so we're just gonna have to see what happens it's so good. I'm planning on just reading and if I do anything else, I will let you guys know. Keep you guys updated. Hello, you guys. It's the next day. <laughs> I literally spent my night just reading and like not doing too much, so I didn't vlog any of it. But today I'm holding myself accountable. I've been meaning to do this for so long. If I don't film it, I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just going to keep pushing it aside and aside and aside. So we're going to tackle it today because I'm in the mood and I want it to get done, you know? Hold on. Let me put you down. <laughs> Okay, this angle's so rough, but we're gonna work with it. Do you guys like my pants? I have, I've had these for so long and I just never wear them, but I love the color. They're from Lululemon, if you were wondering. But anyways, I have been wanting to reorganize my book cart because there's a lot of books on here that like I'm not really prioritizing to read right now, you know? And my book cart, I like to have put all the books that I'm excited to read and want to get to before all the ones on my bookshelf. This needs to be updated, you know? It's just kind of messy, you know? I'm not vibing with it. This is what it currently looks like now. This is my November TBR that I have that I'm working through, so this won't change. But then we get down to like the lower half. Oh, hello. <laughs> Then we get down to like the lower half and honestly like there's a few books I want to switch out here. I want to add other books on here instead. So this is what we're going to tackle because I've been putting it off and I'm honestly sick of looking at it like how it is. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I think first thing first, I should just take off all the books that I know I'm not, I don't want on here anymore. And then like kind of see how much space I'm working with to add like new ones and stuff. Cue the montage. already opened up so much space. I just don't really like feel like reading these right now. I don't know why. Like I'll get to them eventually. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm going to do an unhaul video coming soon, which will also be a part of a giveaway. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Hint, I'm planning on doing it when we hit 10k subscribers. Insane to say that, but I am doing an unhaul slash like giveaway and stuff like that. I'm going to go through a lot of the books, not even just like here, but on my bookshelf because there's so many books I've had for so long and I'm just like not vibing with them or ones that I literally have already read, but I just have no reason on keeping them. I just like either didn't like them or just don't need them anymore. We're going to put these back on my bookshelf and then I'll pull new ones from there as well so then I can kind of switch things around a little bit you know as a person that loves books like everything is very short-lived on my bookshelf everything needs to be changed everything needs to move around a lot because I get sick of looking at the same things over and over again this was just really much needed basically my romance shelf is getting pretty crowded <laughs> mind reading this I have these ones that I want to add to my book cart from my shelf we have the flat share King of Wrath by Anna Hong and things I wanted to say but never did I've had this book for so long and I really do want to read a Monica Murphy book because I've heard so much about this author and how much people love her but I just haven't gotten around to it so I'm gonna add these to the book cart and kind of like move some things around because things just aren't working for me you know but I also have been sent some books that I want to add to my TBR cart because I'm so excited about them and because they're just new and you know I want them to be on my book cart basically so hold on let me get those dropping things over here guys okay I think I'm pretty sure these are all of them I could be wrong literally I just have books everywhere and they're not in the right spots like ever so I want to put this one I got the girls at 17 Swan Street by Yara I can't pronounce this author's last name but my best friend Lily actually sent me this book because if you watch one of my recent vlogs we basically picked books for each other and we annotated them and then we sent them to each other so this is the book that I ended up getting from her it just came in the mail the other day and it's fully annotated and I'm just so excited to read this this will probably be my next read after I finish The Nanny by Lana Ferguson, which I'm reading right now. Loving it, by the way. But yeah, so I'm super excited about this. So I want to add this to my TBR cart. I'll probably add it 
right to the top to be honest for my November TBR because it's literally gonna be the next book I'm gonna read. I also got The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. I got that a little while ago so I want to add that one along with The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. I received both these and they deserve to be put on the TBR cart so I <laughs> gotta find a home for that. And then I also was sent a book by an author. I got Sunnyville by J.H. Hastings. This seems so cool. The packaging and stuff that the author sent me alongside this book was so cute. I actually got this little tiny bookmark too. It is so cute. It like fits the whole theme of the book perfectly. It's like a little bookmark. The book's based like in historical times and it's like a mystery and stuff. I don't know. It's so cute. So I have to put this probably on my bookshelf. I think that's where I'm going to put this one. I'm going to have like a whole video of me reorganizing my bookshelf as a whole because I'm not vibing with how everything is looking and because I've gotten so many more books recently, certain genres just aren't fitting the way that they used to on my bookshelf. So I'm I'm gonna make a whole video of me basically reorganizing and unhauling my books so make sure you guys stay tuned for that coming soon but right now I'm just gonna do my book cart because this has been bothering me the most <laughs> Yay, this is my finished book cart. I didn't move around too much, but basically just have like my November TBR on the top. These are all my annotating stuff and like tabs and bookmarks that I keep here. Can't really see it, but this is kind of like the books that are more like lighthearted ones that like I kind of want to read now. <laughs> then all my annotating pens and highlighters and go check out my annotating video for more info about that. And then the last one is just kind of random. I have like romances and and then some dark books and that one just a mess but honestly like these two shelves are honestly the most important to me so yeah I'm just so happy that this is done because like I said it's been bothering me for so long I just my brain cannot focus on one task at a time so it will literally just like bounce between so many different things that I want to do but then this one always just never happens so I'm happy I got to finish this today it's looking a lot better in my opinion, at least for me. Just had to clean it up a little bit, change things around, but I'm so excited to get to the girls at 17 Swan Street next because I'm so excited. It's an anticipated read for me. It's just gonna be good, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We have a little early morning adventure going on this morning. Just gotta let my dog out. <laughs> she's obsessed with bunnies right now because all the bunnies are sti like sticking in our yard and stuff, so she's looking for them. She doesn't know where they went. My dog officially has an obsession with bunnies. She always has ever since she was a puppy, but I have my dentist appointment at 10 a.m. I really do not want to go. I just, I don't like the dentist. I haven't gone since I got my wisdom teeth taken out, which was back in May. That sounds so bad. <laughs> That generally sounds terrible, but I have to go for just like a general cleaning. Hopefully no cavities. I've never had a cavity in my life, knock on wood. So let's hope it stays that way. Then I want to go do some work at a cafe because I'm very behind on work. So I need to like force myself to do it. And I feel like working at like a cute cafe will help me do that. Oh, also my cat got shaved yesterday. We get him shaved like a lion. Tidy. Hi. You look so cute. But yeah, it's currently 9.30 and I need to leave now. So that's the plan for the day. You guys, it's so much later now, but I have a surprise for my mom. She just texted me that she's on her way home and 
I'm about to surprise her with this box and I want to see her reaction. Oh my gosh, it's a heart. I haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Should we open it together? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna hide this downstairs. I'm gonna hide the camera and then we're gonna surprise her. I can't wait to see her reaction. I made my little note. I'm gonna put it on top of the thing. Oh my gosh, I just heard the garage open, okay. The box is there. She's gonna walk in and put her gym stuff probably over here knowing her so I'm gonna sit on the couch and pretend like I'm just like not doing anything. We're gonna get her reaction. Hey mom. Hi. How are How you? Good. I'm good. How was your workout? That's yeah, good. Are you filming? No, she's sitting there. Oh. You have a gift? Aww, are these for me? These are so cute though. Titan, what do you think? Do you love them? <laughs> These are so pretty. I just wanted to say thank you to Rose Forever for sending me this beautiful package. I have seen them all over TikTok and as soon as they reached out to me, I was so happy to work with them in this collaboration so I could give my mom such a special gift. She deserves the world. Wanted to give her something special, especially seeing her reaction. That made me so happy. But you guys should definitely go check out their website because since the holiday season's coming up, you know, following that is Valentine's Day. This would be such a perfect gift for your significant other or just someone that you love. It reminds them how special they are to you and I don't know I think it would be the perfect gift so make sure you check their website below to browse everything they have they have so many different ones of course I had to get my mom the pink one because she just loves pink roses but along with that I do have a discount code for you guys you guys can use Gianna 20 for money off your order at checkout so make sure you guys don't forget to save a little bit of money you know the discount always always is a plus but yes I highly highly recommend and I'm so happy that my mom loved these and once again thank you so much to Rose Forever for sending me this so then I could share that special moment with my mom. The pesto. finished doing a workout a little bit ago so it's much later than the last time I talked to you guys but I just took you through making my quick little like egg white toast I'm obsessed with this it's lightweight too so after working out I don't want something too heavy but I still want something like to eat right after you know I'm always hungry after I work out this is what I ended up making it's so easy so simple and very light like I said I'm so excited to devour this I am so hungry before I outro to this video I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some up coming things but first let's do a taste test shall we cheers it's so good every single time. I highly, highly recommend. Wanted to quickly talk about Vlogmas coming up because we are coming into like the middle of November slash inching towards the end of November. I am announcing that I am going to attempt Vlogmas this year. I'm very excited to finally come to this decision. It was kind of bouncing back and forth in my head for a while. I'm honestly so nervous, but so excited for the content that I'll be able to create during the month of December. I have planned it out. I have made a list of videos for every single day, so. Let me know down below any other video ideas that you guys would like to see for Vlogmas. I'm obviously going to include lots of vlogs, lots of books, just a lot of content in general. But if there's anything specific, please let me know down below. I would love to use your guys' ideas too and know exactly what you want to see for something as exciting as this. Just wanted to quickly say that that is coming. I wanted to do it last year, but I just didn't plan it out properly. I'm excited I get to take part in it this year. But yeah, so that's my little mini announcement. I did kind of like throw it out to you guys 
on my community tab page like a few weeks ago, but I still wasn't sure. So it's official now. Yay! But I am going to enjoy my toast now. So this is where I'm going to outro this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And also, if you made it to this point in the video, comment down below the nail emoji because I really, really like my nails. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing I did in this video. So comment that down below if you made it to this point of the video. And also, don't forget to check out Rose Forever's website and to use my discount code for money off your order. Highly, highly recommend that gift, especially because the holiday season's coming up. I feel like it's so perfect. So make sure you guys check them out. Other than that, I really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Is it really close? Yeah. He's a no. little person. Hey! Oh, no. <laughs> Look at these people. Let this for real though. Yeah, this is see how it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this you. is our favorite area. Favorite. Look how crooked it is. Oh geez, not that again. Oh. You rat. It's breaking. No, I'm not. That was the other person. Why would you get coloring stuff though when you have tons of coloring stuff at home? So, so good. Literally so disgusting. Wow. Let's do a nail transition. This always falls and it's so annoying. What's the word? Where should I put you? I'll put you right here. My bean bag needs to move. Do a spin. It reminds it reminds them how special you. What? Anything else I put on that? No. Oh no, I ripped it. <laughs>